All right, hello all. Uh, back at you again with more Arch Linux torture, and this time it's going to be about uh, scripts and uh, keyboard shortcuts and all those kind of fun things, including holiday season decorations for your desktop. So to get to some basic uh, scripting, uh, they're very basic, okay? <laughs> uh, but I thought I'd make a script to switch between uh, XFCE4 desktop. That's what I usually use. In that this is XFCE4 desktop. Uh, so I have the zoom facility with the mouse wheel. Um, but if I want to switch to Compton, I just bound a key to the script that I made. It's really simple. Uh, so Control Alt and Tilde will give it a sleep timer of two seconds. And now you can see that we've switched to Compton. I don't have a desktop zoom. Okay. And to go back to the uh, XFCE4 compositor, Control Alt and Z, or Z, whatever you want to call it. Give that sleep timer in two seconds. Now we're back with the zoom and uh, XFCE composite. So I thought let's take this a little further and have some kind of uh, wallpaper changing for uh, Christmas wallpapers. Uh, so another script and uh, another setting, desktop settings. Uh, where it has background, uh, solid color, uh, select black, or just uh, six zeros beside the number. And then where it has uh, zoomed here, okay, select none. Yeah, I know, it doesn't look that great. However, uh, for the wallpaper, it's Control shift q for example. And this is, as you saw, transitioned in. It's hard to get to... There we go. Some transitioning happening with the wallpaper. It's hard to get that with XFCE4 standalone sort of thing. So a program I use is from the Arch Linux user repository called uh, XWinRap, which does a nice job of doing this. Then I have a kill all script. So it's control alt and period to kill the animation. Okay. Uh, to take that a little further, I had a single uh, video, a nice loop, and control M to use X wind wrap again to control the movie. And you see it's not panning or zooming, it's just a straight uh, movie loop. And you can you, I can't really tell where the loop ends or starts, which is it's a great animation. Again, control alt period to kill all those. Then there's multiple uh, movies another script and that's control alt uh, apostrophe and <laughs> it came back with the same animation but it should transition to another one hopefully okay so if you saw that I'm gonna kill that because uh, the uh, animation record uh, takes up a lot of video uh, on the hard drive or just the space not so much for that but just for uploading Sorry, uh, you saw that the transition was really stark. Um, I guess it depends on the videos, but that's why I use the Compton switch. Control Alt tilde key. And then try that uh, multiple movies. And the transition is still, it's a little better with Compton turned on. And give that a bit of time. There we go. Not as, it's still pretty. You can see that it's there's no fade in between the two. I guess if you uh, had you know a movie editor and strung them all together and fade or whatever and get nice loops, but the idea is the Compton helps a little bit. So Control Alt period to kill all those. All right, all right. So moving along, uh, I made some notes here. I'll upload these uh, so you can uh, look through them. Uh, just the packages uh, that you probably need or will need, and some optional packages if you want to get them off the uh, user reposit repository and uh, where you can get uh, the icon set that I'm using and if you want to use the movies that I used uh, you can get those as well and of course the scripts themselves and I uh, threw in the command keys keyboard shortcuts that I was using you can make them anything you want so uh, the most probably the most difficult task or not difficult but is the uh, this one the slide slideshow 
Okay, the, the XWIN wrap uh, that you download from the Arch Linux user repository, uh, these commands, you can mess around. The dash O is opacity or opacity. Set to 1, it's not going to have any kind of uh, any transparency or anything, which probably looks the best on the desktop so you don't see anything through it. And you have to put in the absolute the path to where it is in Arch Linux. It's in uh, USR lib x screensaver. And the name that I used, I mean the slideshow, sl sorry, the screensaver I use is GL slideshow. And then the commands root, duration 5, and the zoom, and so on. So the way you set that up is you have to install X, X screensaver. Obviously. <laughs> and you see I have GL slideshow, and you can see that it's that's what it's uh, the same um, wallpapers. So first of all, go to advanced. Make sure just this choose random image, and it's actually image files. And I have it on a separate hard drive, but it can be on your anywhere. Just again, point to point to, or just click browse and look for it, and leave everything else pretty much the same. Maybe fade to black. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, so as long as you have it pointing to where you want your pictures, they don't have to be Christmas. It can be anything you want, of course. Uh, that pointing to your pictures and the uh, settings. I'll, I'll show you advanced. And that's where I got the GL slideshow, but I just changed the duration from 10 to 5 seconds for the demonstration. Yeah, 5 seconds. Everything else is the same. Okay. Uh, I think I should cover that part of the screensaver, the, the wallpaper slideshow. Next is the, well, the Compton commands are very simple. Um, XFWM4 compositor off and then uh, to turn XFCE4 composite off and turn on Compton obviously you have to have Compton installed and then just the reverse pretty much script uh, for the on okay okay so the single wallpaper um, this has to be not this again you can change that again I, I set the uh, so there's no transparency, no sound, okay, unless you have sound <laughs> in the video. And then uh, th this command, this again has to be absolute. You can't have like a tilde slash or relative. It has to be absolute to home. For example, at home, your username, videos, and the name of the video. And try to keep all of them all the same extension like M4V, especially when you do the multiple one now this is the script it's a do script basically <laughs> again absolute directory to wherever it is and just a little string for movie directory and then the string to movies and you don't really need sleep in this case but again file extensions must match for this script to work if you have another if you're skilled with scripting um, you can probably maybe have multiple formats I don't know. And for f the, the formats, what I did was uh, I threw them in the, the videos here. They're all, the, as you can see, they're all the same format. M4V, M4V, M4V. I just used the handbrake as transcode, so open with handbrake. Not M player, open with handbrake. Okay, give that a second. And make sure it matches your res resolution. Okay, mine is 1920 by 1080. And uh, when I was doing the encoding from from whatever this was, and I also renamed it, uh, so just to make the names really simple for audio list, um, I forgot to remove the audio. It, it it frees up a few megabytes because none of these have audio. So I just uh, hit this and turn this off. It'll probably look different um, on if you're using just a regular icon set. Uh, this is a little out of proportion here. And then you just start encoding. And again, be careful of the dimension size. And also, uh, 
be careful in the way of, you know, if you don't have a 4K screen <laughs> and you try to play it through the uh, N, uh, M, NVIDIA, I'm sorry, NVIDIA, M player and X WinRap command, it'll be really, really uh, slow in, on animation. So make sure those are the same size. Okay, I don't want to bog you down too much. I think that's pretty much all uh, for getting this set up. And I said, basically, you know, it doesn't have to be a uh, holiday or Christmas or anything. Just an idea, just an idea to get, you know, things working. If you wish to have some kind of transitioning and effects on your desktop that aren't overly taxing. It's still, you need, you know, a half decent system running. But you probably, if you watch what the movies are and the file sizes and, you know, you can probably get away with it on most systems. Okay, uh, a lot of stuff, and I can't remember if I forgot anything other than the icon set is hilarious. <laughs> it's nice, though. It's things. I think it's kind of cool, especially the when you have uh, archive files, a little present here, and just the Christmassy colors, and here are the individual scripts. I guess I should mention that all these scripts uh, that are in here, uh, make sure they're all, into the, all in the same folder, so if you, you can extract it to your documents folder, downloads, or make a new folder. I use a dot scripts folder. And everything's global in here, so you want to set up your uh, command line. In XFCE4 it's just easy. Uh, keyboard shortcuts. You can see here it's uh, the GL uh, slide wall and then the shortcut here. You just add and point it to wherever your scripts are and just uh, um, add a shortcut okay and if it's if it's conflicting it'll let you know if it's conflicting with another shortcut it'll tell you okay so I think that should cover it uh, XFCE for Christmas desktop edition 2015 so thank you so much for watching and have fun and uh, happy holidays and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.